talking about the race of governor, we've got a candidate, Republican Andrew Hemingway, Bristol high-tech entrepreneur, 31 years old, has a lot of experience in campaigns. I mean, ran Newt Gingrich's New Hampshire campaign for president in 2012, um, helped lead the Republican Liberty Caucus, uh, which really had a lot to do with helping, helping to elect former House Speaker Bill O'Brien, very conservative, uh, economic freedom guy. He's going to talk about um, Democratic Governor Maggie Hassan protecting the status quo. Um, we're going to hear a lot about uh, opposition to Common Core, hear a lot about trying to cut business taxes and cut regulation and uh, economic freedom. One thing Andrew Hemingway does know very well is the web. He's been a successful businessman for many years. He's created a number of businesses that are very profitable there. He's already shown a campaign website he started last week, which is pretty professional looking. So I don't think there'll be any shortage of ideas and shortage of high tech gimmicks, if you will, to promote this candidate. What he needs is cold hard cash. Democrat Maggie Hassan is the only woman Democratic governor in the country. She's now the vice chairman of the Democratic Governors Association. They spent almost $8 million to put her in this office in 2012, and they're willing to spend millions to keep her there. Can Andrew Hemingway compete with that? Can he raise the money to be a significant candidate? He's got some political pros around him, Alicia Preston and Mike Biondo are among his advisors, and I, don't, I think that will help someone who has a lot of experience in campaigns but has no experience as a candidate. As we know, there's a big difference between being behind the scenes and being the one behind the mic. Should be fascinating to watch, and we'll watch it here for you at, at nationaltelegraph.com.